It's helped me discover who I am. It's helped me discover my weaknesses and what I want to do with my life and just down to the simple level of who I am as an athlete. You know, you, you really learn by pushing yourself to the absolute limits and the challenge. You feel that wind? <laughs> it's talking to us right now. <laughs> Um, not a lot of guys, I think, when you, once you get into the older and you start having kids and jobs and you got to worry about money and paying mortgages and stuff, that to be able to do something like this is just a blessing. Across a body of water, from an island to island, it feels deeply ancient. I can, yeah, you can be out there and imagine that this is this is the kind of thing the ancient ones sort of saw and felt. Every year that comes by and it's July, and I just think, what's you know, is there wind in the channel, and are the malolos flying, and the trade winds rustling, and the you just want to get back here. Because it's just an open ocean, and the fact that you get to go from one island to another with all those boats and all that hype, there's no other place in the world that offers that. And then once you hit a wall, you feel that backwash, and that's when you're like. You're starting to die and you're like, oh man, this is where the race really starts and that's when you gotta just mentally be prepared to go to a place that not that many people wanna go to. The, the, the goal this time is just personal, do my very best, and then once I get to the finish, see where I stand. <laughs> Paddling back to my future wife as I get married four days after, so that's kind of more exciting than what's going on now, but you know, it's uh, it's all adding to the, uh, to the excitement. But yeah, the ultimate goal is to finish, obviously, um, and you know, getting a wave in at China Wall would just be, you know, that's the pinnacle.